This video is brought to you in part by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. Yeah, that's that's a problem. We had uh, flames coming out of the front there. All right, so we got some no heat calls. Should be hopefully simple. And uh, it's, it's not reaching temperature. It's like 65 in there and they've been setting it higher and higher. So let's go take a look and see what's going on. Now well, that should be at the end right there. Yeah, draft motor's blowing. No heat. Nope. All right, let's dig into this and see what we got going on. That's nice. That's definitely normal. Okay. Let's see what we got going on over here in this electrical section. So we've got a belt that's loose. Is it tripping limit? What's going on? What's funny is we have no alarm status here. Alarm zero. Half the time this don't work. But surprisingly, it's working. Alarms enter current. None. History. T142. Now this has been getting turned off and back on. It could be a race in it. So at least holds it. And what sucks is I'm like, do we go up or down? TO55, AO164, TO15, TO59. Oh, there's just so many of them, it's just ridiculous. I'm gonna go ahead and get this fan tightened up. Don't look like it's been oiled for a while. Yeah, I replaced that seven years ago. All right. Surprisingly, no bearing wobble. What I'm doing here is kind of cranking these in a little bit and then we're gonna move the nut outwards. So we're basically giving it enough bolt on the other side over here. What we're gonna do is then crank this nut that's not turning right here to shove it over. Four little turns, do four little turns over here. Now I did have to loosen up the four bolts out in the corners. That still hasn't moved much. This thing is nothing but a grease hole. Whole building's got oil floating in it. So it gets all over everything. Getting better, not there yet. I'll get this tightened back down. I did get that tightened up quite a bit. The new pulley that I replaced seven years ago is wore a little bit. All right, let's take a peek at the filters. I'm sure these are a disaster. I seen they had a box of them down there that needed, that could have changed. Wow. Yeah, this is an industrial application and they got really bad uh, air, like oil in the air, because they do machining and that's pretty bad. I think I'm going downstairs and see if I can grab some and throw these in there. Holy cow, look at that. Yeah, that's sweet. Yeah, you can see the oil, it's, yeah so three six nine not gonna get this uh up the ladder by a straight ladder by any sorts so up she comes yeah and you guys a uh, thick uh rope there comes in handy so we got nine filters here i don't know who does it if we do it or the maintenance does it but we'll get them some new ones in here see if that makes a little difference there i mean we had no airflow from loose belt and plugged up filters. Let's go ahead and put a date on here. That way we've got it. Uh, let's go ahead and get this together. Kick it on and see what happens. Let's look for shorts, potential rub throughs. 
everything looks halfway okay like i said no looseness in the bearing i think those have been replaced probably before i'm sure no squeaks let's turn it on see what happens here i wonder if that was on purpose definitely ain't gonna run with it unhooked so i might as well hook it up come on let's go run got the cover off figure it won't hurt to take a look here you can see we've had some rollback damage here done that's not a good sign sure it's fine no big deal yeah yeah here's a roll out that does a lot of good here don't it good gravy you'd think you put that thing a little down there towards the end so it looks like we got some newer burners let's take a look at this heat exchanger and see if it's totally shot and maybe it's the reason why it's got issues look on the other side see if we can visually inspect the heat exchanger still isn't coming on yet yeah that's that's a problem we had uh flames coming out of the front there holy dog crap and that looks like that is a self resetting limit which is a pretty dumb idea should have been a manual reset holy crap unbelievable so what i was doing while that was getting ready to kick on was i pulled this panel here so we could take a look see what's going on i'll we'll also go ahead and yank the last couple screws off here the heat exchanger actually looks pretty good uh they've got these are actually stainless steel style it's like an upgraded heat exchanger i'm not seeing any rust any corrosion nothing like i said this is an industrial application so that's why they're running the best they can get but yeah so we must have an issue with the burner area let's go ahead and go back over there and look at that again let's see if that's getting ready to rub through too give that a shake on the back side we're good there all right let's get this together and take a look at those burners boy it just is not looking good i just took a better look at it i thought hey is there a plug missing there no let's get a little closer and take a little look you see that somebody something whatever happened i mean it's supported there on the roof somehow this got shoved down on that broke i'm gonna have to try to take this apart and see if we can take it and go get it threaded at the shop i don't know if we have enough room to get on there with anything this is a, a catastrophic mess right here and i cannot believe they did a rollout switch that is self-resetting that's just stupid when you kill power to it it's going to reset and try again like it's been doing that's just so dangerous stupid try to unscrew it that didn't work so well since these wires are burnt went ahead and cut them that'll tell me where they need to go those can be repaired these could be chopped out and repaired loosened up that chopped the flame sensor wire because it's too long anyway so we're trying to maneuver this out of here all this stuff in the way that was a uh, pressure hose i don't know if that'll pull off or not kind of be nice if it would so you can just kind of throw some of this crap up here on top and keep it out of the way I'm trying to pull it out in one piece that way I, I don't snap it completely off in the valve any worse than i need to fantastic <clears throat> i'm sure that that was probably the way it came from the factory right yeah that's beautiful i don't know how we can get that rethreaded. i don't know if we can i'm not sure i know we could get a pipe nipple and have the welders weld one on that might be the smartest fastest easiest thing to do honestly or i can weld it whatever i don't care it's 
at this point it needs fixed and there's not a whole lot else you can do with it. So unfortunately that's all welded together. So we're just gonna take the whole thing. All right, so I was able to have them TIG that right on there, which worked out good. So now we got a good piece on there, just copied what we had. We'll get back over there and get that thing installed. Yes, we have a full blown metal shop and about five welders. It's not a small company by any stretch. I'm just one of the many. So we threw a little bit of gray paint on there to make it look a little better. Uh, also protect the weld and stuff, which he did a really good job. It uh, looks pretty good. So a lot better than what it would have been probably with a wire welder. We got this back into place. That's mainly surface area there. If I scrape it off with my knife, it'd probably go away. We're gonna chop some of these out. We're gonna chop some of this bad crap out. All right, got her a little doped up there. Get this thing screwed on there before we get it in place. Otherwise it won't turn. Six miles of more crap on there than what you really need. It's just flame sensor there. You should be able to pull on that and it should not pull out. If it does, then it's not a good crimp. There's that. So it looks like we've gotten most of this out of here that's all tarnished. That's a lot better than what it was. This has been shortened, so we got less of that to deal with. Got those back on there. These are weird crimp-ons. A little bit smaller, so I don't have them. I'm gonna try to attach these down below the burner. That way the flames roll up and not down. Generally, that'll help protect the wire from getting damaged again if it ever happens again. Hopefully not. All right, so we got everything wire tied up, looking a lot better than what it did. Got the ignition wire loose. That way it doesn't arc into anything. Always like that that way. The wire there, that's for pressure switch somewhere. Got uh, all them all done up. Like I said, I try to wire time low. That way the flames don't come back. Sometimes they burn back in the burner. I don't want them to hit the wire things happen you know once it's you know up and going now i think i see what happened you can see that that had to have been straight across like it was originally uh looks to me that it was suspended probably by something before it probably had a block of wood or something under it and because you can see a wide spot there so somebody's either knocked it out whatever but that's what happened so i've got to find something to put under it but for right now i'm gonna go ahead and raise it up, screw it together, get it running. Found an inch or two there that's not hitting. Ended up lowering that one just a touch. It's got a little bit of an angle, but short of that is lift all this stuff up and then put a block under it and have it knocked out. So right now it is straight in line. So if you actually look at it, it's straight across. Now, if you push on it, it doesn't it's actually the weight is supported onto the roof there. Same thing here. 
if I can find a brick or something, that'd be great to put there as an extra level of uh, protection. But for right now, let's go ahead and kick it on and uh, see if this thing uh, runs or not. We're definitely further ahead than what we were. We've got clean filters, tight belt, gas line's not leaking, all kinds of luxurious things. Supply air temperature 59, outdoor temperature I think it's like 30 something. I'll give it a minute or we could speed it up because I don't really feel like waiting. There we go. Oh, look at that. No gas flying on the front. That makes a little difference. got heat now so that's the end of this call if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure you hit the thumbs button click the notification bell check out this video that video this guy that guy until next time guys we'll catch you on the next one later